Hey, Mount 31, I had a question for how do you do number 29? So let's take a look at it. This is from section 3.4. So here they started you with this h of x function and said, hey, how could you decompose it into f and g with the stipulation that h of x should be equal to f of g of x. So what could you make for your inside function and what could you make for your outside function? And like I said, there are many possible solutions. I wrote one here and, and I'll just, in a little bit, I'll do an alternate version so you could see it. But as is written, I want you to see that this works. So let's go ahead and compute f of g of x, just so you can see that the, the solution presented here, oops, excuse me, is working. So this would turn into f of, and then in parentheses, I have x plus 2 squared, right? So I went ahead and instead of g of x, I wrote what g of x was equal to for this particular problem. Now, the function for f, actually, let me leave it on the highlighter. This says take whatever is in the parentheses and go ahead and put it in the denominator in a fraction that has 4 in the numerator and then this x in the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... This, this quantity or this expression that's in my parentheses, and I'm gonna put it in a fraction with four in the numerator, and then that expression in the denominator. And you see that does get me to h of x. So that is one combination. Let me give you an alternate one. I could have done something like this. I could have said, hey, let f of x equal four over x squared, and then let g of x equal x plus two. All right, if I had chosen that option, Let's see what f of g of x is equal to. All right, so again, I'm going to take, instead of g of x, I'm going to write this function. So this will become f of x plus 2. All right, and then the rule says whatever is in these parentheses, right, it should get into the denominator, it should be squared, and then it should be put in a fraction with 4 in the numerator. So if I write that out, this is then going to be 4 over x plus 2 squared, which sure enough is still equal to h of x. So there's just a different combination to do this. So hey, use one of mine or come up with your own. Like I said, there are tons of possibilities. See if you can find another combo of two functions that when you compose them, you get h of x being 4 over x plus 2 squared. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.